At Two Point Hospital, over 52% of our patients believe they leave healthier than when they arrived. Our precisely calibrated equipment is operated by compassionate healthcare practitioners, many of whom have even been to medical school or watched ER. If you suffer from turtle head, let us ease your worries and noggin gently out of your body. Just mm. infection is no laughing matter. Put your trust and oversized shoes in our capable hands. We're building a brighter, safer future, and hardly anything will stand in our way. You deserve the best. So join us at Two Point Hospital. We're open for new staff, new patients, and a new you. Can I go play golf yet? I'm teeing off at three. Hey guys, this is Boy Polar here, and welcome to the very first episode of this playlist on Two Point Hospital. So over here, we are going to play through each and every hospital, one after the other getting three stars and remix stars wherever applicable one after the other so the play, play style will be more of aesthetics and realism over functionality and i will be handcrafting and building each and every hospital room in each and every hospital and i'll try not to use the templates so without any further ado let's get started Welcome to Two Point County. I'm Albert Crank. I'll be your trusty advisor on this journey. This is Hawksport, and here's your first hospital. Click on it to get started. All right. So the video that you saw is okay. Wait, there's another letter from the Superbug Initiative. Are you ever just sitting there, at work or at home, and you realize that you're incredibly cold? What's the deal with that? Personally, I wanted to stop. Radiators, dry as they may, aren't just up to the task. And that's why we need something new, something warmer. Sometimes I get hot too, and that's, if anything, just as bad. I'm proposing that we develop a solution for annoying unideal temperatures by doing a shed load of research. Have at it. Thank you for, thank you for your continued cooperation. Sophie Nova, CEO of Bungle Technologies. So basically, this is about the Superbug Initiative where we can collaborate with other organizations, like organizations as in real people using Two Point Playing Two Point Hospital. So I've already finished all these before, so I'm not going to do those. And this is the Project of Ice and Fire, which is basically a global thing, which is where you have to contribute by, like the, everyone who plays who have played Two Point Hospital will contribute over here. Sadly, by the time I started this game, this thing is already over. So yeah. I did do these and you can also start them again and whenever you want you will have to unlock this and this and this you need to find people for that there is a steam group I'll link it in the description oh, what else is there okay like this I'll continue so the video that you saw in the beginning that is basically what two point hospital is about it is about puns and funny disorders and not to be taken seriously in game you are supposed to take it seriously but do not take it seriously in real life so this is the career where which is basically kind of like the achievement list or something like 9000 i've already 200000 so there you go and that's it there is leaderboards which is a friend skull is leaderboard and then there is menu which i'm not going to go so let's get into hawksport let's start begin your career as a hospital administrator learn the basics of the job by establishing your first hospital Right. Two Point Hospital, welcome to Two Point County. Are you ready to start building your first hospital and curing some patients? Yes. First things first, and this is about the moving around and everything, so I'm gonna just quickly skip through. Yes. So basically how the hospital functions is that you'll have plots, like this one has only one plot. So yeah, you'll have multiple plots which you can buy and all, and basically there'll be indicator room reception. So when the patients arrive for the first time, yeah, so you change the rotations with Z and X. Those are the default keys. So basically when patients come, they will first enter the reception, reach their go to the reception and 
basically there is assistant over there you'll have assistant at the reception who will tell them to go where where they want generally it is always the gp's office is always the first one as far as i know so after that then the gp's office will tell them to go to different places for diagnosis or treatment or whatever so yeah this is it now because i'm going to make it realistic let's see where i can put it so i'm going to put it center and here so yeah that's it also as you can see i've paused the game in the back in the middle in the bottom not back at the bottom so that is because i just want to play slow slowly so use your staff list and patient list and listeners to monitor and manage the people in the hospital quickly find staff and patients and then jump to them in the hospital so yeah, this is the staff list because i do not have any staff so yeah use the staff list to quickly find people based on their job ability and qualifications see what each person is currently doing and keep an eye on their happiness and energy click on someone in the list to jump to that person in the hospital use the job filters to view each staff type separately click on the arrows by each column heading to sort the list based on that column use the pay review button to review salaries and pay satisfaction for each staff member use the job assignment button to control which jobs each person is allowed i'll show you later on each of them so first we'll go to hire and assistant and we'll hire one so this one is cheese for brains and this one is boring so this person will basically okay so every single employee that you can hire will have some skills or traits now like a scholar and a gentle person these are just random words to fill in does not suspect you do more than trails tales you do see more tales so these things are like does not matter but if you hover over it it will tell you what it is so they can there are positive effects and there are negative effects like over here okay never mind um okay bad, bad. okay so over here short temper is a negative trait which means that becomes nasty when unhappy and tireless is a positive trait because they work for longer before they need a break so you will try to have people who are only positive and try not to have any negative ones but becomes nasty when unhappy is good enough because as long as this person is happy it won't become a negative trait but yeah, i'll still prefer for like only positive traits and there are varying degrees of positive traits along that there's one trait called healer so over there that person can actually heal the whoever he's he or she's going to see so it's generally for dog it's only for doctors don't think it's for assistants so healer ka thing as if you get it take it and try to put him in gp or if it's a nurse then put him in a ward or any kind of flex like low level diagnosis because then they can heal them okay so charming makes people happy when interacting with them so this is a good one that i can take so for the assistant i'm going to go for this because this is okay so for assistant i have three options okay so over here another thing is that there are five boxes five circles so each of these circles are basically represents the training so for this is like emotional intelligence it increases the happiness by 10% per, but is not a good training skill to have I have to be honest because you can have some traits which act automatically increase the by it by 10%. Now traits are not changeable but traits like these things can be changed. Not changed but rather you can train them in different things and obviously you'll get them. But these things cannot change. So over here I've got two I'm going to uh, this is called customer service which basically increases the reception and retail skills by 50% for each. So I can have two, plus 250% two in total. So over here I need people who can do customer service. So we have got two options right now of and if I do not get anyone it will they will just go away and later on I see new applicant in 21 days like that but right now I need someone so I've got two options which is angel of vibes which is terribly dull which means makes people bored and the other one is cheese for brains so basically a slow learner that will take some time to develop so minus 25 learning speed so this person has a negative effect which is only constrained to himself and does not affect other people so the only thing that will happen is that if I'm going to train this guy it's going to take a longer time Whereas this guy will make others bored, which will make your patients bored, and then they will leave the place or they will seek for happen like more entertainment and all. So this is a bad thing, which because it's a bad, badder thing rather than this, because this will affect the other people also. So I'm gonna go for this right now. This is the recruitment fee that you pay the person, pay the recruitment agency, I guess. So this amount gets deducted right now once I click hire. And this is the amount you're gonna pay him or her every single month. 
so as soon as I have minus 438 will be deducted not higher but as soon as I just click on it so service reception see for minus 438 so he's gonna see he's gonna service reception and for the job titles yeah so here's the job assignment so see which staff members are qualified to carry out each type of job in the hospital control who is allowed to do his job for example if you only want the best staff working blah 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 by default his job will as long as you're qualified for it i'll just show you later on so this is one as for i need a doctor and a nurse so i'm gonna get this nurse slightly costly but okay as for the doctor hmm So there are two more, but she's unhygienic, and she's a GP. I need a GP. Okay, I'll go for this guy for this girl for now, this person rather for now, and I can turn her into something else for later. Right now she can be in diagnosis. I'll need to change because in this level in Hawksport I don't have access to scanners and all, so no use for a diagnosis doctor. Rather, I'll have a GP doctor because diagnosis skill increases diagnosis skill by 10% in all everywhere, including GP rooms and all. But a GP skill will increase the diagnosis skill by 15% in the GP's office, and because you will need to, they need them to work in GP's office only, so this is more preferable. Hmm, tough decision. Uh, I'll do one. I'll actually get this guy because I can get this, make this guy train the other people. Yes. See the doctor. Chalo, let's go. I can see over here. This guy is short term, but I'm not going to use him for long. So yeah, right now building a room. Yeah. So now we need to build a room. So GP's office. So GP's office will be how long? Like this. Yep, looks good. So if you see. In most real life area places, in most real life chambers, the doctor will be sitting nearer to the door so that in case the patient becomes hostile or something, the doctor can get out of the door as fast as possible, reach the door faster, and there is no chance of the patient blocking the door. So because of this, uh, the chair that is closer, that is the chair towards the bottom, is the chair in which the doctor will sit. So that is where I'm going to put it. So you can you can just normally drag along and it will snap to particular places and if you press control and then drag you can make more final adjustments so that is what i'm gonna do but i don't think it's gonna affect anything over here so place so the options like the so these are the options things that you can put in these are the items you can put in so first let me get all the stuff that i can get for zero kudosh so kudosh key 20 key is basically like or kudosh over here you can see in the bottom right is basically a currency of sorts that you can earn and with that you can you can with this you can use it to unlock all these stuff and these things stay from wherever you get so these things stay doggo portrait is for free yay damn 1100 for three and these are the some more that i have downloaded from the workshops so i'm not going to use them for now not for not right now but i'll even use them later so all the items that are marked with this star thing like a yellow star thing those are the compulsory items without it you cannot finish the door finish the room but as soon as i put this because it's time right i can finish the room and i'm done with it now every room has a prestige level so there is it goes from level one to level five you can increase the prestige level by basically getting more i put more items and making it more attractive and everything so like this okay now why do you, why should I make it more make things more prestigious? Because if the room is more prestigious, the patient will the do, the staff working will be happy. I don't remember if the patient the staff will be happy. Happier the staff is, there is a bonus treatment or diagnosis skill and everything else. So you should try to always aim for a prestige level five, but it's kind of impossible. Sometimes it's impossible to do it in limited space with too many items. So right now let's see what I can do. Let's beautify it. So it needs a file. So I'll just first let's see the color of the room and everything. Okay. So over here you can click on the room and go to customize and walls and floors. So I have downloaded some workshop items which I'll be using. You can go to the description and I'll get it. 
Okay, I need to unlock those for 20. Hmm. What about the stripes? Okay, these they can be unlocked. Alright, so I'll be. Uh, I prefer these colors. Let's see. Yeah, this is the color I prefer as for the floor. Right and now, because I, we do not have any kudosh, uh, we'll be sticking to. Clinic floor light, yes. Or soft floor, yes. Soft floor looks nice. Alright. So, this is the color scheme right now. So what what are the items that I can put in? I can go to this items and these are the items that you can put in inside this room. There are items which you can put on the f like corridor is basically or hallway is basically any part of the hospital which is not a room. So the, I, you can put items in different places. Okay, so different items in different places. Like weighing machine. Every person needs like every doctor's like GP's office basically general practitioner. So they will have a weighing machine. So I'll put a weighing machine over here. I will put a uh, fire extinguisher is not needed as much as a bin. So I'll put in the bin also. And a dog portrait. Put it back here. Can I put it back here? No, I cannot. Oh. Can I put a port of Jasmine Odyssey? That should do the trick. And doggo portrait then will go back here. Or rather here, yes, this is okay. Also another thing is that if you if I click on if you go to the eye like eye and then click on this flower, it'll show open the attractiveness part. So wherever it's green, if you can get the person your or your staff member near or into the green zone, they will have a plus something bonus for being closer to an attractive item so this is what i'm going to do now basically so what else do we have that we can put in a tree that look nice it does look nice plants see you know the issue with plants is that they need watering by janitors so i'm not gonna get those Weighing machine office does. What is this? Nah. Not worth it. The sonic poster looks nice. Hmm. Get it and put it in the center of the room. See, prestige level 3. That looks good enough, I guess. All they will never see your tree. It goes down to level 2. There's a flower here. Alright, we can have more uh, filing cabinets. Because filing, a doctor, doctor's place always has a lot of filing cabinets containing records of all the patients out there. If I take it out now, you're still level 3. Yes, there you go. So this looks fine. And as you unlock the stuff later on, we'll get more stuff. You can put in more stuff that you want, want and put. And it's like the insane neutron on. As for the temperature graph, yellow is comfortable. Is it comfort? Yeah, yellow is comfortable, red is hot, and blue is cold. Alright. So this is the attractiveness scale, which is fine. And our doctor is ready to work. And we need a janitor. That's for the janitor upgrade. Hmm. All these three janitors are good. So what I'll do is I'll hire all of them right now. Especially this guy because he has two upgrade skills. Costly, yes, but it's worth it. 
So where is our first patient? Where is our first patient? Where is he coming from? There you go. He got off. He just got off from the taxi. Let's go. Let's go. Let's follow him. Hello. So he's gonna talk to the receptionist. The receptionist is gonna gonna be like, okay, go to the GP's office. Now the GP is like, oh yeah, I'm being called. So I'm gonna get in and I'm gonna sit here. Hello, hello, doctor. So what seems to be the issue today? Oh, so that is the issue. Okay. So now what happens is that now it's telling me that I need to get a pharmacy. So let's build that pharmacy. So I prefer building like GP's office, few GP's office near the reception. then a few more diagnosis office in the middle or around and along with the diagnosis offices i'll build a few more gps office and at the very end at the very ends of the rooms or the plots i'll put in the treatment rooms because the flow chart of the people like the tree patient is like come to the reception go to gps office get diagnosed go to the diagnosis place or go directly go to the treatment or go to the diagnosis place if you go to the diagnosis place then you go back to the gps office or if you have enough treatment then you go back go to the directly to treatment from treatment you are either cured or you are dead oh also that reminds me i have to go to the overview tab and i'll leave this part go to policy fast track treatment decision staff sleeve room mile will be unchecked staff team mesh is unchecked promote staff automatically yes or rather i'll keep it low for now as for the diagnosis threshold 80% seems to be a good one you need to check and change it as per the government but fast track treatment decision is important because what happens is that once the diagnosis you go to, like the doc like the patient goes to a diag- gp's office then goes to a diagnosis center and the diagnosis threshold goes up to like let's say more than 80% as long as it crosses 80% then what they'll do they'll go back to the gp's office and then go back go then go to the treatment there's not needed you can just take really take them to the the treatment so that's what you're going to do otherwise there's like too much of like it's not that optimized so some it will make the other few levels make it more def- make really really difficult actually you know what we'll just keep it off for now because we're going to be realistic because you just don't go to a uh, hospital go to the, like do some tests and you go and do the test and directly go for treatment you don't do that you go back to the doctor right so you're not going to do that uh for now but we will change it later on if it becomes too unbearable let's go so yeah oh right i need a yes so we need to build a pharmacy so pharmacy is here i'll build a pharmacy and every room needs a minimum size so over here it is 4 by 3 okay 4 by 3 looks nice so for now i'll build it on this side So as for the rooms customization, I will have clinic floor because it's a treatment room. So I'll put it green. As for the walls, it will be this. No, not this. Too bright. This maybe. Let's see. What else do we have? This one. This one maybe. No, too light. Let's go up. Let's see the other stuff. This one. No, this is too light. Too light. This one. This one looks nice. Yeah. All right. So this is one. Now we'll go to items. Um. As okay. So every room which has a machine will need a few fire extinguishers because you might need to extinguish the flames. So I'll put a one for now because it is realistic, and then another bin on this side, and then fill the rest with filing cabinets because it is a um, pharmacy basically. So it should have I uh, be things like documents of the people and all. Also later on when you upgrade the get the medicine cabinet, we'll put in a medicine cabinet. Other than that, nothing right now. Let's see. Oh, it just needs level. It's level two. We just need one more. 
Hmm. Maybe if we get the filing cabinets on this side, we can maybe get one more filing cabinet. Can we? One more should do the trick. Nope, not here. But if you place them close by. Yay, done. Similar spacing. Looks like it. Yep, and these are the these are similar species. So yeah, prestige level three. Yay, done. So this is drug mixer. You can later on you can upgrade these drug mixers or not. So let's start. Okay. Also, we just need to put in some more items on over here, like a few benches for them to sit. A uh, bin. Uh, drinks machine for now I'll put in a snacks machine later on okay 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 and a leaflet stand all right that works and a tree maybe and what else can I put? Uh, arcades. I don't want to put arcades right now. Similarly, I'll put a few benches over here, right by side, and uh, can I put a bin here? And a bin here, and I'll put in a snack machine here for now. Just for now. Or rather, I can get actually. Sell. Put the bin here. Put the snack machine here and the drink machine here. Yeah, that should do. And then I can build another room here. Block anything? No, I did not. Also, because these are placed differently, I need this is not gonna work. Not looking good. So what I'm gonna do is in a filing cabinets more so like you can see i do not have access to filing cabinets in the hallway because the hallway is not a place for filing cabinets okay just got stuck this looks fine it does right no oh, that the old one only looks good can't help it so maybe I can get the fire extinguisher and put it here yeah that looks fine maybe you can put the pin in the corner if you want to make it functional put the bins as close to the door as possible because the janitor will have to come in and then then it will have to come in and then get to the dustbin to empty it so if you make it far, put it far away you'll need more janitors because you'll take more time but right now i'm going to make it more realistic as possible as possible so i'm going to put it in the corner and i'll put take care of the drug mixer and push it a bit inside done you're done with the pharmacy and where is the guy where is the first person there you go he's heading for the pharmacy so is a nurse announcement medical waste does not belong in the corridors and he's been called into the room. There's a nurse and there is a drug mixer. Let's see what they do. So he presses she presses a button. And these colorful blobs just mix in the centrifuge. And they go down. And a drink is formed. And he just gulps the drink. I guess it has eyes. Cured! Yay! We have cured our first customer. And as you can see, 
Start you got some money. We just cured our very first patient. I'll go to prices. And what you're gonna do is keep the GP's office over there, same cafe, same and all. But we'll go to treatment of crowd and I'll increase the price to 100%. Uh, similarly, we don't have these things, so I'm not gonna think about it right now. Is there anything else that we need? No. So, cure. If you increase the prices, their reputation will drop, which means less fewer people will come in. But that's good. That's in the beginning is good. And every time someone pays, well, you get double the amount. But sometimes people will refuse to pay because it's too costly. So yeah. Right now I'm fine with this. Our second patient has been diagnosed and he's going to the pharmacy again. So I already got janitors and all. I need to place another fire extinguisher. Right. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna so if you left click, left click and control press control and then left click, you can copy. And you can place as many as you want. So I'm gonna put one fire extinguisher over there. And that looks fine. See him and her in action. So I've placed all these things already. So done. So hospital reputation increases with each patient successfully cured and decreases when a treatment fails, especially if a patient dies. A higher reputation attracts more patients and better staffs for hire. I have not seen exactly Mayo patients, yes, but better staff, not exactly. And in, in case you want a better staff, you can just advertise market for them later on. And I generally prefer like employees who are completely not trained with positive. That way you can just train them yourself with particular skills. And I go for specializations, though always it's not possible. So now I need to build a staff room, but we have reached our 30 minutes limit. So what I'm gonna do is stop this, like stop this recording right now, and we will see you guys in the next episode. So what are the things that we did in this episode? We built a GP's office, we built a pharmacy, and we put in snacks and drinks machines and places for the people to sit, people to throw the bin, throw not throw the bin but throw stuff in the bin, and place fire extinguish as much aesthetically pleasing as possible with all the stuff that we have. This looks nice. I like to enter this place. Although, I'll just try to check one thing. Can I place it here? Yeah, you can. Then you can just take another one and place it this side. Yeah, you know, I'm in a tropical island. And that's it. So see you guys in the next episode. Make sure to like the video if you like it. If you are still watching it, do do and tell me how you liked it. Give me some suggestions so I can make the videos better. And in case you do not know, this video is recorded in 4K 60 FPS as much as possible. <laughs> you won't always get 60 FPS, but yeah, it'll be uploaded to YouTube in 4K 60 FPS. So make sure to watch it at highest quality as you can. Why do you have enough data? And see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye.